Great, so we are gonna be starting topic 16. Topic 16 is the last topic in fourth grade and it's on geometry and it pretty much reviews third grade geometry. And I know that is I taught third grade last year. Um, so it's just knowing the different names and points and shapes. So lesson 16.1 is that there are pairs of lines and they all have special names. And the most basic thing is a point like a point, is an exact loca location in space. So this would be, as you see this, this is called point Z. And a lot of times, if you remember in geometry, they'll label um, different lines and different things with letters. And they don't really, they're just, I try to help you identify what they're talking about. So this would be called point Z. Um, obviously, this looks like a number line that we use all the time. And it's just called a line. And the interesting thing about a line is that it goes on in both directions infinitely. Does that mean when you put these on the end, that makes it a line, which is gonna be important later when we talk about line segments, because this means it goes on in forever in that direction, and it goes on forever in that direction. So that is a little bit important to remember. And this thing's called a plane, not an airplane, but it's an endless flat surface. So this is just what they're referring to. And I just put little arrows here to show that it's endless. It goes on in both directions. So those are the types, some of the special lines. The ones you're probably more familiar with are parallel lines. And if we were in class, we could do some fun projects, but we're not. Um, so parallel lines, if we were in class, you know, go like this, so they could go like this, but they're the same distance apart and they never cross. So they could be this way, but they're always the same distance apart and they never intersect or cross. That's what means the same thing. And they usually look like this. Two lines on top of each other and they can be sanguine. And then we have intersecting lines, which is just that they pass through the same point. So here's the point that maybe they pass through. And they go on in infinite directions. And that sometimes gets confused with perpendicular lines, which do intersect, but perpendicular lines make these, these corners. So usually if it's something's perpendicular, you'll see these little kind of like boxes. They'll put a little box there. And that helps you know that those are perpendicular lines, not just intersecting lines, because sometimes it's hard to tell. So you'll see a little box like this. Oops. And that's what we'll tell you is perpendicular lines. Most of geometry is a lot of vocabulary and just memorizing what the names of the lines and of the shapes. So if we do some practice in your book, get this way. So if we look over here, here again, this is from your book or you can look it up yourself. So for number one, it says name four points. So you would just point, point W, point X, point Y, and point Z. And then to name four lines, just set that on the whiteboard real quick. I can't draw a bit. Um, w, X, Y, Z. Right. Maybe I should go back to my whiteboard. All right. So there are a, a couple of different lines that you could do. So this is W, X, Y, Z. So you would just put line. W, X, there's a line, line, W, X, Y. So this is a, a line, this is a line, this is a line. So there's four different lines there. And I can't see the screen, so hold on. Okay, 
So four lines, so you could call it, you could call it WX is a line, YZ is a line, two pairs of parallel lines. So you would put a line WY, a line XZ. These are parallel to each other. These are parallel to each other. So a perpendicular line, this one does not have a little squares, but some perpendicular lines right here would be right when they intersect in the middle. So you could have WX to YW, make up this perpendicular line right here. All right. Then, so here, if you just use my notes or your notes, um, you're just naming the term. So this is a plane, so you just write P-L-A-N-E. So these go infinite in both directions, and this would be parallel lines. This would be perpendicular lines. It doesn't have a little box, but I know that it forms a perfect corner right there. This is called a point. These could be, it's hard to tell on these if they're intersecting or perpendicular. If you wrote intersecting, that'd still be correct. I think they're perpendicular, but these ones are intersecting because you can see they don't form this angle right here. And then these ones right here would be a set of parallel lines. So that's all you're gonna be doing. So just use your um, reteach and you have the same vocabulary words or use my notes. So I just put in here um, to just label the things correctly.